Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping into DaVinci Resolve 17 and like a couple of my previous videos, we're gonna go through all the new titles this time that they have included in DaVinci Resolve 17. So let's take a look. So all the titles are gonna be located in the edit tab in the effects library under titles and they have pretty much revamped this entire section for DaVinci Resolve 17 and pretty stoked on it because normally with DaVinci Resolve 16, I wasn't a huge fan of the inbuilt titles, which meant I always had to go into Fusion to create my own ones. I'm sure you guys feel the same. And in DaVinci Resolve 17, I think the opposite is true. They have done such a great job with the inbuilt Fusion titles that I don't see the need to go in and create my own. So let's take a quick look. So we got the first six at the top here, nothing special about them. We just have plain and simple text that has no animation in it whatsoever. We play that through just formatted so that it's either a left, right or middle lower third, as well as a general text in the center there. Now you do have the text plus one, it's pretty standard. The text plus is exact same as the text node, except that you can take it into fusion and you'll have your template there. So that's what the text plus one is for. Personally, I don't know why you would use that. I would just create a fusion composition, but some people might not. Another one they've added is scroll. And I think this one is really useful for credits. So basically you have a scroll and it's got a pre-built speed, but the longer you make it, the slower that scroll becomes. And then if you were to go over here in the inspector and start typing, you could write credits. And so there you have a really simple credit, I guess, sequence that's really easy to create. Now that's pretty hard to do like character level formatting, unlike in Fusion. But if you just want to create a really quick credits sequence, that's how you'd create one. So those are the basic ones. The Fusion ones is where it gets really cool. So the first two we have, and it's gonna be a pretty common thing. They'll be like center titles, and then they'll be lower third titles. So the first two we have are background reveal titles, which use your background to create the image. So if I bring in this photo here, and let's just zoom it in a little bit so that we can see the color. And then if we drag, say this background reveal title on top, play it through, what you'll notice is that it'll blend in and then the background will become that title. And if I was to say, move this down a little bit, you'll notice that you can get the image appearing in there and then it will fade back to the image. That's exactly how the lower third one works. So if I was to delete that one, we drag the lower third one down, it's gonna operate the exact same way, except that it will come down the bottom here. So pretty cool in that sense. The next one we're gonna look at is the callout. Yes, DaVinci Resolve has built in a callout, an animated one in DaVinci Resolve 17, which is kinda of cool. So we've got an animated there. Now what's really cool about the callout is that this isn't the only one. There are five different versions of it that you can access if you go into Fusion. So let's do that. We're gonna have it selected, jump across into Fusion, give it a sec. So here we have our little title in Fusion. And if we select the callout one, you can notice that we have version one, two, three, up to six in the inspector and you can change it and it's going to change how this all looks and operates. Pretty cool that they've given you a few different versions, nothing super special about it. The fact that you have access to it here in Fusion and if you double click, you have everything that they've used to create this whole sequence. Common question I get asked, what if you wanna add tracked footage to it? Well, super simple. Let's drag this video down in here, connect it to our media out node and we've got this footage here of some cars. Now this media out node is going to match the length of the call out so we don't have to worry about re-timing this footage. What we can do is add a quick tracker. So we're gonna go shift space, add a quick tracker. And what we're gonna do is let's center in on, let's go on this guy here. And we're just going to make the box just large enough to center over the car and we are going to track forward, let it do its thing. Perfect, all done on that one. And then what we're gonna do is with the tracker, under operation, we're gonna change it to match move, cool. And then we just connect the call out to the input of the tracker. Now, what you will notice is that because of the aspect ratios, the text there, the call out is quite small. We can fix that by just adding a transform node in between the two of them. Now we can control the size independently. We can size it right back up. And we can also reposition it. So once we get that line coming out, you can see that's where that dot is. So if we wanted to, we can reposition that line onto that car there, select the call out, go through and type whatever we want. 
type in traffic, go through, we can increase the size of the text if we want, change the color of the line even. So let's make the line a different color. We all know I like teal. So now we've got our teal line and if we were to go back into the edit page, and so now if we play this through, we have our call out and it's tracking that car like so. And we didn't even have to create the call out. All we did was add a really quick tracker to the sequence. So you can see that was really easy to do. Next, we're gonna move down. We have a center reveal, pretty cool cinematic title that they've got there. Just sort of like a center line in the middle and we can call cinematic title and it's just going to split in the middle and then reveal itself. So pretty cool there. And again, all these are Fusion titles, so you can just drag them into Fusion at any point by highlighting them and going into Fusion or clicking this little button here, which will also take this title into Fusion. Now we've got a few clean and simple ones, at least that's what they call it. Kind of modern box elements, pretty simple. And then again, we have some lower thirds and another lower third here, which is slightly different. Pretty cool. Now we have a couple of my favorite, which are the dark box text. So again, what I'm gonna do is just chuck a color down onto this background. So we're gonna chuck a solid color just so we can see it more easily. I'm gonna make it light gray. Go back to our titles. And so we have our dark box. So if we chuck that down, we have basically a box is going to appear with the text and it's going to dynamically scale. So if I decide to take, you can notice that that box is dynamically scaling to what you would like the text to be. And obviously you have your pretty standard controls in terms of color and everything like that. So that one's a pretty cool one. Looks really cool, really modern. And again, you have the exact same, but as a lower third, like I said, a lot of these are repeated for lower thirds. A couple of my favorite ones now are digital glitches. So these are really cool if you want to do like a, I don't know, like a techie kind of movie. We're going to delete that solid color now. So we've got like a cool little glitch that comes in. We can always make that a bit shorter to speed it up a little bit. Very cool. And then, like I said, we have a couple of lower third ones. Now we have some draw on lines. So we have a lower third here. So the line kind of draws in and then the text comes out. And then we have a similar one for the center text. The animations for these are just like second to none. They are super clean, super smooth, which is awesome for us to use. And I do encourage you, especially with like the digital glitch ones, if we want to head on over into Fusion and see how they actually created this glitch effect. As you can see here, there's a fair bit to the node tree, but you can see they're using a prism blur basically and a mosaic blur to create that digital glitch effect. So being able to see how they've created it is almost just as important because it helps us understand how to create it for ourselves. Now we have our drop-in title, not something I would ever use, but you know, it's there, it's kind of cool. And again, we have a lower third one. This is one of my favorite ones. This is kind of like a very cinematic fade in title. I really like it. So I really like this one. Nice, clean, it's pretty simple. That's kind of what I like with the titles. And again, we have lower third on the left, and then we have a, another one over on this side here. Now we're getting into some of the more gimmicky ones. We have a flip over one, so it's like a 3D reveal, whatever you would use that for. And we have another lower third one. Now we have a flip up one, very similar. As you can see, just sort of flips up from the bottom. These are not ones I would use. Again, this is, I find, just a little bit too much for a title, but each their own. Horizontal line reveal, a very common one that is used a lot and it's really well done. In fact, I think they might even have this in DaVinci Resolve 16. We have a horizontal slide, pretty self-explanatory, text comes in and then it will shoot off. Two new ones, the jitters. I quite like the jitters. They're like a real cool cartoony kind of vibe. Come through, even the, like that default text, you type whatever, you know, type in cartoon really cool just the way the text kind of jitters a little bit there I actually really quite like that one now we have long title kind of more like a sort of lower third except to the left but obviously you can change how you want that to be so if you wanted to have the whole title kind of spread out like that you can come through and have the line go through and then have your title appear like so and again we have that as our lower third this one, outline offset, I do not like. It's a 3D text one, and I'm just not a fan of 3D text, but 
you might like it. Random Ride On and Random Ride On Lower Third are super cool titles. It's basically just a letter reveal, but randomly, and sometimes they fade in and out. So kind of cool if you're doing like a real techie kind of video or just like a real modern video. I can see like this particular title being on like a Mr. Robot or Black Mirror episode, something like that. And we have a pretty common one, Rise Fade. Don't like it, but it's there. We've got a rotate in and out one. As you can see, there's a lot here. So this one rotates in and then we'll rotate out at the end here. Not a huge fan of it, but it is what it is. And we have a random scale up, a bit cartoony. We have that for the lower third as well. Then we got our simple lower third, so just simple boxes, different versions of that. These are gonna be good if you're doing interview videos and that sort of thing. You can just have their name come up there. Pretty, sta pretty standard, I used to use this when I did corporate videos. We got another center line reveal. Looks okay. I also believe they had something similar to this in DaVinci Resolve 16. Got to slide in and down. Again, a bit too flashy for my liking. Slide in and scroll. Another 3D one that I'm not a massive fan on. Again, with this one, not a huge fan of it. All the 3D ones, I'm just not a massive fan on personally, just because I don't like that sort of I don't know, it just looks super cheap, like very like 2007, like Microsoft PowerPoint style titles. These ones are cool. I do like the text box. I would use them myself, especially this one here. I think that one's super cool, especially with that speed ramp in the middle, the way it kind of flies in, slows down, read the title and then flies out again. And these are the ones that I would use the most of. This one's pretty cool if you're doing like a product trailer or something like that. And then we've got a couple of ripple ones. Mm, not, it's okay, don't hate it. Got a three line drop one, it's okay. I do quite like this one. I know they've kind of done like a bit of a bezel on the text there and you can increase the extrusion. So I guess it is a bit of a 3D effect or it is 3D, I guess, but you can make it closer to 2D by removing the depth on everything. And then you get this cool title there. Then we have all my ones. Uh, you can check them out in the link below at my Selfie site. Big old dirty thumbs up there. A couple of views. These are just all my ones that I've created. And then we're pretty much done. We have our vertical reveal. I quite like this one. This is very like cinematic, just very subtle. Same with that one. And then we got a vertical slide, lower third slide, and then the very popular zipper effect there. And then we have a subtitle one, pretty standard. So as you can see, they've created a lot of different titles for DaVinci Resolve 17. And hopefully by watching this video, you've seen how useful all of these can be and maybe get some ideas on using them. And the fact that you can take them all, every single one of these Fusion titles into Fusion by just clicking this little button here. So you can add whatever you want to, to the effect, or even if you just want to double click and have a look at how they are using the node trees in Fusion to create those titles. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more content. And until the next video, see ya.